Is that the symbol of radula? Yes. That means the food is irradiated? Yes. The food in this box is irradiated. Bro, then you shouldn't eat it. Stop, don't eat it. But why not? Because you will get irradiation and you will die. No, 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 no. That is a misconception. That is a myth. Are you the one who also thinks that the irradiated food is unsafe to consume? Well, then make sure you watch the complete video because today I'm going to explain whether the irradiated food is safe or not for you. How are you doing today? It feels so good to be back after a break of one month. If you already know me, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, then I am Arif Irshad and I make simple and easy to understand lectures, videos and tutorials for the students like you who study food science and food technology. So make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell icon as well so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. FNCI has been working really hard to create awareness among the consumers and the food business operators. And recently they released a guidance note uh, suggesting that the irradiated food is safe to consume and they busted the myths of the irradiation and the irradiated food. This video and the other videos in this video series are based on the guidance note that was provided by the FSSAI. And if you want to uh, understand that, if you want to download that the guidance note that was provided by the FSSAI, I will provide a link down in the description so that you can download for yourself. Food irradiation is a big topic in itself and that is why I have divided this big video into smaller videos and so that it is easier for you to understand and also if you want to skip some part of the video some subtopic of the video for example the technology or the safety you can skip that one and move to the next video but i would highly recommend that you watch the complete video series because it is not only helpful for you but that will also increase my watch time and my views anyways let us jump into the first part the first part of the video and that is technology. Food irradiation is a physical process in which the food is exposed to some controlled and specified doses of ionizing radiations, ionizing radiations like X-rays and gamma rays. And it is usually done to attain some technological objectives. The first objective and the foremost objective, the most important one is the extension of the shelf life. The second objective is the destruction of the pathogens, pests and insects. The process involves exposing the food to some controlled and specified dosage of ionizing radiations in a biologically shielded container. Notice the two terms that I have used here, specified and controlled. Now this is super important to understand for the consumers that what is specified and what is controlled. Because the dosage is specified and the dosage is controlled, that provides no harm to the food product. The radiation source and the food never come in direct contact in the food irradiation process. In fact, they are separated by a very big distance, a very big shield, so that they never come, the food and the uh, radiation source never come in direct contact. If they had come in direct contact, then the food will, food will become radioactive and the food will be unsafe to consume. But that does not happen in the case of irradiation. The ionizing radiations led to the development of the free radicals in the food product and eventually they lead to the development of H2O2 and that is hydrogen peroxide. Now hydrogen peroxide acts as a toxicant, a biological toxicant for the harmful microorganisms, pests and so on. Since the irradiation process involves very minimal heat treatments, in fact there is no heat treatment as such and there is no raise in the temperature, there is no significant rise in the temperature and that is why this process is also known as cold sterilization. It, food irradiation process has multiple uses. It is used to reduce the pathogen in spices and meat. It is used to extend the shelf life of the meat and fish products. It is also used to disinfect the insects in the cereals, pulses and dry fruits. And it is also used to inhibit the sprouts in onion, potato, garlic and ginger. So this was part one of the irradiated food series. And if you want to watch the part two and that I highly recommend, I will link that in the description, the second part of this video or it must be popping up somewhere on the screen right now. 